everyone, hello, hope you're doing okay, Chuck Roberts here, but not for a video review, so look back episode 25, yes, um, basically, um, well, I look back at what I did, what I reviewed, um, well, generally what I reviewed, but it could be other things, one year and five years ago, basically, yeah, because I've been doing a channel that long, I've got that many reviews, and it's, uh, it's one of those, really, so yeah, so also, I say, well, look back at what I reviewed for the members, um, what special things I did, perhaps, perhaps some tier lists or something like that or whatever, um, you know, but also detailed reviews as well. And basically whether I still agree with what I said at the time, whether my reviews have changed, whether the scores would have changed, things like that. And also whether some of the things are even still around because some of the things that I reviewed five years ago, maybe even one year ago, no longer about. So it's an interesting one to look at, really. All right, so one year ago. So what did I review then? Now, I might be looking off to my left slightly just because that's where my notes are, basically. So we'll be... A <laughs> Essentially, you might hear the mouse click and stuff as I'm looking, yeah, is the gist of it. But yeah, so there are a few live reviews, but basically, first of all, I did um, a few Aldi chocolate review specials, actually. One parts, one, two, and three. Um, so yeah, so check those out. It's basically all sort of uh, Aldi own brand products generally. So it's an interesting one. Now, sometimes we'll go over the, the detail of what I reviewed live. Um, but the gist of it is I won't be doing these ones just because they were just, you know, they were kind of like, uh, you know, there's so many of them, so many different types, so many Aldi own brand products. So I think it's best just to go and look at those uh, individually, really, rather than you discuss them here. I also did um, a little um, part three review special as well. So I guess I've done uh, parts <laughs> uh, one and two previous to this. Um, yeah, so I did so many live reviews. I also did a little part uh, three chocolate review special as well. So similar thing, but with little rather than Aldi. So, um, yeah, so go check that out. Links for all these will be in the description, by the way, as I'll probably put in a banner in this corner probably up here at some point anyway or a little message anyway so there we go yeah did some special uh, videos as well i did a favorite um chocolate fillings tier list as well so that's an interesting one uh, and also did a lunchbox biscuit bar special tier list also so tier lists are kind of where uh, essentially i sort of rank things um, basically into different levels so something will be like a, you know ranked a b c d or what have you and some of them s which is a special super duper rank and um, so go chill an interesting one really so yeah it's quite an interesting set of videos those um biscuit bar special being you know things like i don't know penguin bars stuff like that yeah it's an interesting uh, interesting one so yeah go check those out also did uh, various few uh, member reviews for bronze level and above members so if you want to become uh, a member check out the link in the description possibly put one up here as well for members to do so um basically you know if you pick the bronze level tier you'll be able to get some special exclusive reviews every week essentially one review a week and you do build up over time over 100 i think now so or bronze member review specials so yeah go check those out but um if you uh, are a member and you've not seen these i did the, the walker's hot shot hot dog flavor crisp bit of a tongue twister there um yes i did that a year ago i also did a cornetto uh, soft salty caramel as well uh, and i did the walker sour cream and sweet chili kicker flavor crisps and I also did the Go Ahead Fruity Cake Bites Raspberry and Strawberry. Yeah, so quite a few are varied uh, ones there. The, be the member reviews tend to be things I wouldn't normally review and uh, regularly um, on the channel, such as crisps and uh, other things, you know, ice cream, stuff like that. So interesting one. Um, but the regular reviews, right, so here's the... Uh, nitty gritty of these where well, we'll discuss the review, the actual comments and things like this. So, yeah, first of all, I did the uh, McVitie's Cherry Jaffa Cakes. Yeah, so um, basically I thought these, you know, were great. Um, I gave these a three out of five. I thought these were great, but just generally... So basically I thought these were, you know, pretty... Pretty okay, really. I thought they smelled great and everything. Great idea, but just didn't quite um, deliver on it, really. And I was... Basically, just of it is... These other flavoured Jaffa Cakes are usually pretty good, but they're never quite as good as the regular Jaffa Cakes, is the gist of it. So... Yeah, and it's one of those really. I think three out of five perhaps is a bit harsh, but I don't know. I think basically, I think three out of five is a bit harsh really. I think three and a half out of five is where these should be really. Even though not as good as regular Jaffa Cakes, I think three and a half out of five is probably a bit more accurate really. So yeah, generally I think most of the non-orange ones will be a bit that way. So yeah, it's one of those really. Then did the Milky Way Salted Camel review. Yeah, so this is um, basically the US uh, chocolate one, this one. Um, and so I can't taste any chocolate to the caramel and the US um, Milky Way a bit like a Mars bar basically and the American version is just generally not that great you know it's just um, it's basically like a Mars bar but with really zero flavour very bland and I couldn't um, I thought this might be the way to sort of improve it by um, you know uh, including sort of a bit more of a flavour to it for having the caramel flavour you know salted essentially but uh, but he didn't I couldn't even taste the salted caramel it just was, it was still a bland bar I gave this a 2 out of 5 I think that's I don't know yeah it might be a bit you know, I don't know, I feel these are so bland, these are US um, mil you know, Milky Ways, essentially. Half tempted, I I'll keep them, um, yeah. I just feel like they're very sort of 
Blanche, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna lower this one to one half out of five. And these US Milky Ways are just not very good generally. It's one half out of five, I think that one. It just just was too bland. Just it wasn't really you know it's was, it was just not a good product that one. Yeah, so one half out of five. Then the Cadbury's Dairy Milk Football. Yes, this one. I think this when I got this, it was kind of. I don't know if it was on offer at Asda, I don't think it was actually. Um, but it's basically for, for yeah, I don't know, um, probably <laughs> the Euros or something like that. But it had a competition it was for, and it was basically a competition that ended, even though it was still for sale. And also, um, it just was like, it was like an Easter egg, you know, it was like a chocolate, cho giant chocolate football. Well, not giant chocolate football, a chocolate football, but just what, you know, a mini football, I guess. <laughs> but it just wasn't, it was just really overpriced and really poor. Um, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5 really. I said it looks great, but just a rip-off. It's just really sort of mundane. Yeah, so I think that's probably about right, really. Just very expensive what it was, a bit boring. Just, yeah, just you know, not a good product, really. But still dairy milk, but just expensive what it is. Not very good. Then the Maryland Treats, chock full of orange. Yes, so Maryland, again, they're one of these where recent, some recent um, products of theirs, so you know, Maryland cookies, basically just some regular typical cookies, really. Uh, you know, they've been quite good. The uh, the Jerry Dodge ones thought was amazing, really. But this one, you know, it was, it felt it was back to type, really. Reverted to type. Not much orange taste at all. Still regular Maryland cookies. Give them basically two out of five. And I think that's probably about right. They are quite... Well, give them two out of five. I think that's possibly... Probably about right, really. Because even though they've got chocolate chips, you know, I say all these are, are really digestive is two out of five. And even though Maryland have got chocolate chips, you never really taste of anything. You know, they're just really mundane. And I think they are disappointing. So it could, there's an argument there they could possibly be meant to be two and a half out of five, but I, I think that's still too high. I just think they're just not a very good products generally. So two out of five, I think it's probably about right for that. Mm. Then did the M&M's Cookie Chocolate Bar. Yeah, so this one, very happy with this one, actually. Um, it tasted great, just crammed full of filling uh, cookie pieces, and obviously had the mini M&M's. Shame they're not the full-size M&M's, and they could work it into the little domes on the top of the segments. But nonetheless, um, I thought the chocolate reminded me of Galaxy as well, I said um, in the comments as well. But very happy with this one. I gave it to five out of five. Yeah, for what I was saying, it sounds amazing, really, and I'm um, just really happy with it. it. Tasted great, chocolate tasted really nice for whatever reason. Just really, really nice. Reminds me of the Galaxy Cookie Crumble, but just a lot better. I saw the addition of those mini M&Ms as well. So really good. So five out of five for that one. And I think that's um, yeah, I think that's a good uh, good mark that one. Mm. Now another uh, Maryland cookies, the Hazelnutter. <laughs> uh, good name, but um, basically the same problem again. Just no strong sort of hazelnut taste. Just nothing that great. Um, Seems to have like a flavouring um, rather than an actual, you know, seems to have sort of like a hazelnut essence or something like that. Now I gave this one um, a three and a half out of five, really. It seems a bit too high. I said it's still a typical Maryland biscuit. Three and a half out of five seems a bit too high, really. I uh, don't, you know, <laughs> it seems to have actually some flavour in it, this one, but because um, it's got sort of like a you know, hazelnut essence in rather than an actual, you know, um, yeah, just reliant on hazelnuts itself. I think this one probably is, a, I still say it was a typical hit Maryland biscuit, and I feel like three and a half out of five is too high for it, so I think I'm going to say two and a half out of five for this one. I feel like they just are disappointing Maryland biscuits, and it doesn't sound like this one's any better, generally, other than having a bit more of a flavour than perhaps the, uh, you know, the uh, chock full of orange one. So I think two and a half out of five, really, that one sounds more like it, to be honest with you. Then did the Nestle Kit Kat Chunky Gold Crisp. Yes, yeah, so this was a um, funny one, this one, like Kit Kat Chunky, I think it was from Australia, I think it was. Um, but it had like an extra thick, basically it's like caramel or, you know, like a sort of blonde chocolate or what have you. And there were crispy bits in. It had like a thicker um, section of chocolate uh, on, on top of it. So rather than um, the usual proportion of wafer, it had a big, big thick chocolate layer. But it had waffle pieces in it, or what were described as waffle pieces. I thought they were okay. Um, but I thought the chocolate wasn't that flavourful. So I don't know if this is... I've had this problem with a lot of blonde chocolate or caramel, caramel chocolates. Or what have you lately, especially with the um, the uh, um, Toblerone Golden Crisp that came out lately, and I think I mean there has been a lot of um, pretty flavourless uh, sort of caramel blonde type chocolate affairs going on, and I think this was definitely one of them. So I've just noticed that, to be honest with you, maybe I have to go re-review the um, Australia um, caramel bar, you know, see if that's really as good as I remember it being. But yeah, this one I've already, and I thought. Um, I don't know, I gave it a 3 out of 5, and I think it just was a bit disappointing, really. And I think I'm going to stick with that, you know. As I say, just, a, just yeah, it wasn't that great, really. It had a bit of crunch in it, but I think the, let's say, the addition of the extra thick chocolate just took away from it, really. Um, I'm a big fan of um, Kit Kat Chunkies, but this one, yeah, just, I don't know, didn't work for me at all. And it looked like it should have worked, but it just didn't. So very disappointing, that one. 
Yeah, and I did the uh, McVitie's Black Currant Jaffa Cakes. Yes, yeah, similar to the one, really. Lovely for refreshing flavour. Nice and different than the, um, obviously, orange one, but just not as good, basically. Um, so, three and a half out of five this one. I think that's probably about right for these Jaffa Cakes that aren't the orange ones generally. They are nice, but they're just not as good as the orange ones. The flavours just don't pop as much, but I say they are still nice, but just not as good. I, I wish they'd do an assortment of Jaffa Cakes so you could buy all all different flavours in one box and have a different assortment of them. Yeah, you know, and they have a different one and maybe. Every Jaffa cake or a couple of you know, or two of each or something like that, whatever. Um, I think that would just be the best way to experience them really, rather than having a whole pack of ones that are just not as good as the orange ones, you know. But yeah, but three and a half to five, I think is about about right for those. And then um, we had the Minos fruit smoothie jellies. Yeah, these ones. Well, these were really disappointing. These ones. I thought they just, you know, um, had a bit really boring shit. Or shit like smoothies, basically. Like uh, I was in like little one of these, sort of, I don't know, hipster type glasses with a, <laughs> um, with a smoothie and a big straw or something. They all just looked quite small, distribution was off and it just didn't seem that good, you know, um, just a bit of a poor product really. I just didn't really like them, you know. Yeah, I thought they were just a bit boring. Um, so if you out of five, I said those ones, just wasn't enough flavours, they weren't that great. Just poor distribution as I say. So three out of five, I think that's probably about right and yeah. I don't know if they still do them actually, but they were just disappointing. Mm. Now the, the Cadbury's uh, Dairy Milk No Frowny Brownie, so one of the um, basically inventor bars from last year. Uh, this one, I think, well, so basically the, the sort of, um, brownie pieces um, barely taste the, the brownie pieces or salty can, which was another flavour in it. Um, and the brownie didn't taste like brownie. It had the, the sort of typical problem of, you know, basically when you try and do brownie in a chocolate bar, it just never tastes like brownie. It just tastes like, I don't know, some kind of chocolate powdery type substance. You know what I mean? Give it to me now, out of five. I think that's probably about right, really, to be honest with you. Um, it's still dairy milk, it's still interesting, but just a little bit disappointing, really. So, yeah, yeah. Mm. Now, the Cabbage Dairy Milk, the other events are the Cabbage Dairy Milk um, Fizzing Cherry. Yes, this was the um, one with uh, basically <laughs> had chili cherry pieces, if I can say it, uh, in this one. But the cherry was, um, uh, well, the chili was very hard to taste, actually. And it was very strange because it was only labelled on the back that it was actually chili cherry. Um, so very interesting that one. Confusing flavour result. Um, the pleasure texture and taste. I quite enjoyed this one actually, and I gave this um, four out of five. So this was a bit, bit better than the one. But it had a bit more about it. And remember, the uh, you can only taste the chili in the cherry if it got lodged in your teeth. You know, if the uh, chewy pieces did. And I thought it was quite an interesting one. This one still not quite that great, but a four out of five. I think, and I think that's probably about right. You know, just add something a bit more about it. Really, I think I'll read the last in the events box series from last year, the next month. So that will be coming next time. <laughs> I guess all I did one year ago. So what did I do five years ago? Let's have a look. Yes, did quite a few. Did quite a few. Yes, I did um, a selection of blue ribbons, basically. The original coffee cream and orange with dark review. So uh, I gave these... Um, well, these were quite nice. So I gave them basically... Um, well, let's see. What did I say? I said the coffee cream was the best. Um, but the orange one was quite subtle, you know, in the um, in the dark chocolate. Um, and it wasn't the dark wave from this like, that the um, blue ribbon dark has, which is a pretty amazing bar, actually. Five out of five, that one. Um... But yeah, and the, obviously the regular one um, was, was was pretty nice. You know what I mean. So I gave the um, I gave the original and the uh, dark with orange a three and a half out of five, and the uh, the coffee one a four. I think that's you know I think the coffee one I do remember enjoying that one quite a lot. If any other two is probably okay. If anything, yeah, I think the original is probably a three and a half out of five. Really, I do quite like it, but at the end of the day, it is relatively mundane. I do. It is a classic. But, you know, I don't think it's got much to give it a 4 out of 5, really. But 3 out of 5 sounds about right. And the orange, the dark chocolate one with orange, yeah, was, was okay. But I don't think blue was sort of, so just too subtle an orange taste. And certainly didn't uh, wow me like the uh, blue ribbon dark that came out, um, you know, a couple of years back. That was really nice, yeah. So I keep those the same, I think. I'm not sure I'm going to display this on the screen, but basically, yeah. Um, I think those was, was sort of sound about right. I can't think specifically that I got those wrong. So they sound about right from what I said and things like this. Must be the Ritter Sports um, Nusper Tortilla Chips Chocolate Bar. So interesting, what did I say about this one? Um, bit of a savoury flavour, but I gave these a good re review, this one. Four and a half out of five I gave these ones. Um, yeah, a bit, I said a bit too savoury flavour, but nonetheless really liked it. I think it's just the fact that it was such an interesting selection of taste. And I can't remember this one too well, it was such a long time ago, so I've certainly not had it since. So an interesting one for sure. Um, I think I'm, t you know, I'll have to give that one the benefit of the doubt, really. But I think, you know, the fact is, it didn't get a five out of five just because it was uh, the, the tortilla was a bit flavour was kind of a bit, I say, a bit savoury, really, for the bar. But still a great bar, it sounds. But I was very impressed with it one that, with that one. I've not had it since, but it sounded about right from what I was saying when I reviewed it. So I'll keep that one the same, I think. So that was an interesting one. I'll be interested to know if it's still actually around that one. Mm. 
and did the uh, Montezuma Summer Pudding Chocolate Bar. Uh, so these ones, yeah, <laughs> I said it's stupid shaped to the bar. I was never happy with the Montezuma's bar segment shape because they have like a basically a lot, lot of, a few segments, but then it just blends into one. A bit like the a bit like the M and M's bar here, where it just has sort of like an M and M's figure in in the middle of it where the segments stop. But it was just I don't know. A third of the bar really was this, and it was done in a way that you couldn't break it into segments of that bit of it because of like a diagonal line, just stupid. Um, I thought it wasn't much of a raspberry or blueberry taste, I gave it a three and a half out of five. And I think that's probably, I don't know, probably about right, really. I've not been too happy with a lot of these Montezuma's bars, a lot of them don't have much by way of filling in, but I think this one wasn't as bad as others, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt with that one. But I think, if anything, it might be less than that, a three out of five, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Hmm. Now the vegans uh, rice chuck waffle crunch uh, gave it a four out of five but it wasn't too too bad really i can't recall this one too much so i think i'll keep it the same i sounded quite happy with it it was a vegan bar as well but still tasted quite nice so it shows it can be done interesting one so keep that one the same and give it the benefit of the doubt but, um, but it has been a long time since i had that one really but yeah but let me know if it's still about if you had it what you think of it mm. And did the Nestle Breakaway Original and Caramac review so i reviewed a couple of these at once i did that quite a lot back in the day where i reviewed a couple of things that were quite similar at the same time um, I thought they were not as good as I remembered and the chocolate could be thicker basically and I gave them both a three and a half out of five and I think again that's probably about right the, the nice to breakaway bar has got a sort of nice biscuit sensor but it's not quite I don't know as good as I remembered it being the caramel one is okay but doesn't really add that much over the original it's more about the biscuit with the breakaways I think you know and it was just not as good as I remembered it being really but yeah three and a half out of five for those I think it's probably about right really hmm. And they did the uh, the cabbage dairy milk Freddo faces. So basically, just <laughs> just dairy milk, um, you know, in Freddo shapes with that Freddo the frog. He took over from Taz, which was around when I was young, presumably because he got lost the license to Looney Tunes. Taz character. Uh, I thought it was just basically chocolate, but it works okay. I gave it three and a half out of five. Tempted to say it's the four because it's dairy milk, but I think it's just quite a little sort of bar. I don't know. Could be a four out of this one. Uh, I don't know really. It's a, it's a difficult one to say. I think Dermot generally is a four out of five. Mm, I don't know, but it's something about these. I think it's just the quite they're quite small. I don't know. I'm going to stick with three and a half out of five just because of the fact that they're little small chocolates. You know, there is Dermot still, but you don't get the, you know, the benefit of the whole bar and stuff like that. So I think I'll keep them the same really. Mm. Three and a half out of five. I think it's about right. Then I reviewed a few penguin bars all at once. Yeah, the, the original mint, orange, and toffee. I don't think you can still get the toffee one anymore. I wonder if you can. Um, very, yeah, I'm not sure about that, you know, I'm not sure. Hmm. I said basically, I gave all these a 4 out of 5, I think is the gist of it. I said the mint is quite subtle, um, but which, which I think is good actually, is what you want. And the orange is nice, like Terry's. I think these are probably okay. I gave these a 4 out of 5. I think penguins have gone down a bit for me. And the toffee one, again, I thought was just uh, okay, you know. I think, um, interestingly, I've not had that, yeah, I'm interested to have that toffee one again. I think for me, penguins, I don't know, they're not quite as good as I remember them being. I think the cream's a bit, I don't know. They're okay. But well, I think I'm going to reduce these to a three and a half out of five. I think. I think penguins are all right, but they're not quite as good as I remember them being when I was younger. I think it's just the, I think it's the cream really. I don't know. It's just a bit too much for me these days. So I'm going to lower these to three and a half out of five. They're still nice. I still like them, but they're just not. I don't think they're, they're as good as a four really anymore. So, but they're still nice. As I say, I still like them. They're just, I don't know. I think it's just too much cream in them these days. So I'm going to lower those to three and a half out of five. But yeah, they're still pretty good. And did the uh, Ritter Sport Vegan um, Dunkel, <laughs> it must have been a German one, this one, Dunkel Volnuss Amaranth review. Yes, I think it's the same. <laughs> uh, I think it's nuts with Amaranth and stuff like this. Again, it's a very high rating, actually. I said it was a four out of five, you know, which for a nut bar for me is, I mean, I've heard of it. It's got Amaranth in this as well, which I recognize from Stardew Valley. You never, <laughs> never realized I've come across it before, but obviously had five years back. Uh, yeah, to be honest with you, I can't recall this one. I think it did have uh, quite a big um, hazelnuts in it, really. But, yeah, I'm going to keep it the same. Four out of five. I mean, I must have been impressed with it. I think it was a gift from a friend. So it might have been maybe a bit biased. But I seem to be quite bowled over with it. So I give myself the benefit of the doubt on that one. But I think, if anything, it probably would have been lower, really. But I'll give it the benefit of the doubt because I think uh, I did seem to be quite happy with it. So that flavour must have come through a bit. But I might wonder why I need to have it again, really. Hmm. We've got a few Montezuma's ones coming up next. Um... Montezuma's Spotted Dick Chocolate Bar. Yes, there we go. Uh, we've got that silly shape again that Montezuma's has, you know, the segment's not being consistent. Well, they're just basically having half a third of the bar just not proper segmented, so it's just hard to tell what's going on, and it's in diagonals and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I thought, you know, it's just a typical Montezuma's one where it has the point with not much filling, and the chocolate wasn't that great. 
I gave it a 3 out of 5 this one. I think, you know, that's too high to be honest with you. I think the Montezuma's ones are just a bit disappointing generally. So I think for me this one, yeah, I think a 2 out of 5 this Montezuma's one. I'm just not happy with the amount of filling in it. You know, very disappointed with it basically. And I also did the Montezuma's Apple Crumble Chocolate. So it came in like a set of um, British desserts basically. That's how they were all, you know, came across like this. Uh, and gave the same again, not much filling, stupid shape, uh, chocolate wasn't that great again, you know, all this sort of thing. Gave this a 3 out of 5, again I'm going to lower it to a 2 out of 5. It's just very disappointing to say, they just had so little filling in them, just really disappointing. So yeah, so 2 out of 5 for that one as well. Same problem basically. Mm. And then did the Sainsbury's Rainbow Candy uh, Milk Chocolate Bar. Yeah, so this one, um, basically a Sainsbury's own brand product with mini smarties in it is the gist of it. I just said basically yeah loads of smarties in it, quite a lot of stuff in it. I gave it three and a half to five so it wasn't much taste in it. I think it's probably probably about right three and a half to five. I'm probably gonna lower this one to three out of five I think. I think I said there's not much taste in it. Um basically it was sort of smarties inside and I just said it wasn't that great of a you know nothing special in the taste. So yeah I think a three out of five based on my current scoring I think a three out of five is probably a bit more appropriate really. So yeah so lower that one from three and a half. Then we had the uh, what do we have after that? We had the uh, Marsh chocolate brownie. Do you remember this one? This was probably my first sort of foray into um, you know a bar that probably was um, in B and M or something like that. That just was different essentially than any UK bar. You know, just very unusual. Um, and I gave this one. What did I give this one? Three and a half out of five. Basically, it's got the same problem. Um, has it? As a lot of brownie sort of products have, it doesn't really sort of come across as brownie. You know, it's just one of those. And basically, the brownie took was where the new guy should have been. It had the dark caramel in it as well, so it was an interesting bar. I gave it a three and a half out of five. I think this is probably probably too high. I think I mean it's a three out of five. This one, um, it just was a bit disappointing. It didn't taste like uh, brownie at all, but it still nonetheless was was okay. But I think three and a half out of five is probably a bit too high. You know, it just had that problem where it just chocolate bars just struggle to replicate the brownie taste really, and this was no exception to that. So yeah. They finally had the Sainsbury's Caramel Crisp Milk Chocolate Bar. So yeah, I said there uh, lots of crunchy uh, filling and um, rice crisps and them, um, but the great chocolate wasn't too great. One of those really, I think the caramel was a bit too small as well, the pieces, the pieces of caramel I think it was. So yeah, uh, it's giving 3 out of 5. I think again this one probably probably could be lower really. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I think just from what I said, I think it sounds like it was more of a 3 out of 5. But it did sound very nice though. Um, lots of stuff going on, but uh, I think the chocolate just wasn't. Um, that great really so yeah so I think that's the problem so you know that's the main component so I think the out of five is probably right good textures and lots of crunch things like that but just you know lacking on the chocolate really so yeah so there we go mm. so there we go guys that's what I reviewed uh, one year and five years ago yes yeah, so hope you enjoyed that uh, so links for all these are in the description so uh, yeah go click those if you want to watch the actual reviews of them if you want to become a member watch the member uh, reviews as well a uh, link for that will be in the description probably in the top corner up here as well at some point so yeah so go check that out uh, yeah thanks again for watching guys take care have a great day check all these videos appearing on the screen now and uh, i'll see you soon bye for now